Getting into Kota was something nerve-wracking itself. Being selected was a goal, and then once you got selected, or for my case, I was like, okay, fuck, and what, what now? What next? <laughs> I'm there, but now I actually have to do something. When I arrived to the competition day, there's a lot of tension and good energy at the same time. What do we do now? Now I actually have to perform. All of a sudden I was in the semi-finals, something that I never thought would be possible when I went into the event. I had to go up against one of my best buddies, Giel Vlucht, and I didn't think I had a chance. But my caddy, he believed in me. I gave it my absolute all. Maybe I do even have a chance now to get into the finals. <laughs> Getting off the water after the semi-finals with Giel was a very emotional and special moment for me. Um, and then after that they announced that I was into the finals. Getting into the finals was something surreal. I couldn't really believe it. And I felt like I had done something that I didn't know was possible. I was just enjoying it. There were so many people on the beach cheering for every trick I did. I had a lot of time to just enjoy myself and, and, and show what I can do. Bro, I don't know what happened, but apparently I'm in the fucking finals of the king of the earth. When the finals were done, I knew it wasn't over. I had to go there, go to the podium and actually receive my prize. I was just smiling all the time and being super happy, but I didn't even know what was actually going on. There's not really a roadmap for, for kiters that they have to train in the gym because the thing we need is technique within kiting and balance plays a big role. And yes, balance, balancing exercises is something you can do in the gym. Uh, but besides that, there's not really anything you can specifically train for. So I just try to be the most all-round athlete and I feel like the more overall I get, the better I get at kiting as well. By going to the gym, it doesn't only prepare me physically, but also mentally. So I literally train to crash.
Going into a Cape Town season was always super exciting for me. Besides those 20 knots, sometimes 30, you do get those 45 knot days in Cape Town. And when it hits that, you can see it on the map. And then once you open your phone and see that forecast on the map, it really excites. But at the same time, it terrifies me. If shit goes down, it goes wrong. And it goes horribly wrong. But if it goes right, it's the best feeling in the world. And that's why I kite.